guys what's up welcome back to my fitness channel i'm filming a fitness vlog today mostly just like food stuff because i have like nothing in my fridge and i'm on a tight time crunch right now i didn't think it was gonna start snowing until like two o'clock in the afternoon but now that i'm looking outside it is already starting to snow and i just checked the weather again and it is starting right now we are in like a winter storm Literally like a snowstorm is happening at the moment. This is not a drill, so I have no food in my fridge. Um, well, I do have some stuff. That's the whole point of this vlog. I'm gonna go through it all, see what we have, what we're working with. I need to throw out a ton of stuff in my fridge before I buy some new stuff. So I need to go ASAP so that way I can make it back safely. But anyways, if you guys are new here, hi, hello, welcome to my channel. Make sure to subscribe if you guys aren't already. I also have another channel called Molly's Life and on that channel I upload more like day-to-day -day vlogs, you know, more girly stuff, less like fitness content. This is my channel for just like what I eat in a day's fitness content, body updates, all those fun things. So if you're interested in other content, I have another channel. But I got all ready for the day. I feel really good. I woke up early again. I've been trying to wake up earlier. That's like definitely a big health, um, what is it? health goal, I guess. It's to just wake up earlier and go to bed earlier because my sleep schedule was so trash for like all of 2020. So 2021, we're gonna have a good, healthy sleep schedule and be productive throughout the day. But anyways, let's quickly go through the fridge so that way we can get all the bad stuff out of there, clean it all up, get it looking nice, so that way we can go get some new groceries. And then when we get home, we'll clean the pantry. I just don't wanna do that right now because like I said, I really gotta go. All right, hopefully this is a good view of my fridge. Do you guys see this? Hopefully it's translating on camera as how much of a mess it is in person. I don't even know how it is so messy. I don't really be buying that much stuff or like cooking that much. I'm just one person. I don't know where all this is coming from. So this actually wasn't as difficult as I thought it would be. It just looks a lot better now and I can like visually see everything that I have. So it's less overwhelming. Yeah, I really don't have much fresh produce at all. I have no fruit. The only vegetables I have are onions. So I definitely need to stock up on some fruits and veggies and a couple other things. So yeah. Also, just in case anyone was wondering, I don't really go through my freezer often. Most of the stuff that's in my freezer just stays in here. I really don't use stuff from my freezer that often. I already put on my jacket so I can be quick out the door. I gotta go y'all. And then also we really need to organize the pantry because there's so much stuff in there that I just doesn't make sense. Hi guys, I just got back from the grocery store. I have all the groceries behind me. I'm about to do a haul, but I was quickly just having a snack from today's sponsor, which is Built Bar. I'm so excited to be working with them again on this video. It makes me so happy when you guys DM me and say that you bought some and that you love them because they truly are, in my opinion, like the best tasting protein bar ever. Nothing compares to them. They don't taste like a protein bar, okay? Like whatever you think a protein bar tastes like, these do not taste like that. They taste like a candy bar. I stand by that. The texture of them is so unique and amazing. Currently, I'm having the German chocolate cake. It is so good. If you like chocolate, you will love this. And just so you guys know, my discount code is mollybailey20, but I'll have a link to um, Built Bar in the description box, and I'm pretty sure the discount code is applied right when you check out, so it makes it super easy. The box that I'm eating them from is the Mix Box, all 18 flavors in it, so I would recommend 
ordering this one first, trying out all the flavors, figuring out what you like the best. And then from there, you can go back in and order like a custom box with all of your favorite flavors. Literally every single flavor is so good. It just kind of depends on what kind of taste buds you have and what you're craving. If you like more chocolatey stuff, if you like more like fruity things, they have everything that you could possibly want. And just so you guys know, they recently tweaked their Built Bar recipe, so it's new and improved. It is so good. Let me see what the calories are on this one before I eat it. So this one has 180 calories and 17 grams of protein. They're all like covered in this chocolate on the outside. It is phenomenal. Wow. You guys, these are so good. I have people asking me every single time I post one of these videos what my favorite flavor is or what I would recommend the most. Honestly, it changes every single week. I would say current favorite is the Cherry Barcia. It's so good. But the week before, it was the Coconut Almonds, and the week before that, it was the Cookies and Cream. Like, it just changes every time because they're all so good. I literally have one every single day. Hey, okay, guys, thank you so much to Bill Bar for sponsoring this video. Definitely go check out their website. Look through all their flavors and see what catches your eye. Like I said, I probably recommend just getting the mix box the first time around to like try out all their flavors because you never really know. Even if a flavor doesn't sound like it speaks to you, it could be really good and could be something that surprises you. So if I were you guys, I would get the mix box first and then branch off into more custom boxes after that. So definitely make sure to check out the link in the description box and try out Built Bar for yourselves. I have one of these every single day. They're unreal. They're so good. Best protein bar ever. You guys won't be disappointed, so the link will be in the description box. All right, I think I'm gonna go through Trader Joe's first. I have two bags from there, and then I have one from, why is my camera doing this? And then I have one from um, Shaw's. All right, first bag was all of my refrigerated stuff. I always get the hash browns from Trader Joe's. You guys need to get these. Pop these in the air fryer and you're good to go. Like 10 minutes and it's just like the best snack ever. I got some corn because lately I've been obsessed with street corn, so I wanna make it myself. So just got some super sweet corn right there. Um, the beefless ground beef is actually really good. I'm not... I actually bought regular ground beef too, so I'm not vegan or plant-based by any means, but the beefless ground beef is very good. This is a new one for me, sweet potato enoki with butter and sage. I'm excited to try this because I love sweet potato, so hopefully that'll be good. Let me know down below if you guys have had it before. This is one of my all-time favorites. So good, oh my God, buffalo chicken dip unreal same with the chocolate hummus i know it sounds weird if you've never had it before but just trust me this with some pretzels fire then i also got some flowers which i'm gonna put on my dining table in a little bit okay y'all will see i didn't really get anything like actually substantial from trader joe's i just get like the fun things there so this is what was in the other bag we have taco mix these are the best candies ever i know i'm like talking about like health or whatever on this channel but i have candy all the time i have like unhealthy things all the time it's all about balance and these are worth it they are so good if you like sour candy sour patch kids anything trust me the texture of these like nothing will compare ever again once you try these they're so good um these are my favorite crackers they're garlic naan let's see cowboy caviar if you haven't tried this yet, corn, black beans, and pepper salsa. It's amazing. This is new. I actually heard someone talk about this. I think it was on TikTok. I don't really know, but it's their new secret sauce, or what is it called? Magnificence. I don't know. I'm excited to try it and put it on things. Y'all know I love sauces. Got a couple different snacks. These are new. Jalapeno seasoned corn and rice puffs. Excited about those. Excited about these too. I've heard such good things. The everything but the bagel kettle cooked potato chips. Got some pretzel slims for my chocolate hummus. I got some onion salt. My favorite seasoning ever from Trader Joe's. So underrated. You need this in your life. Sorry if you hear my fridge. Um, I got this. Okay, this is new too. Limon Alfredo sauce. So excited to try this. I love Alfredo. They had like a truffle Alfredo that is so good from there, but... I didn't see that anymore, so I feel like this is like replacing that one, but I'm excited to try it anyways. And then last thing I got from Trader Joe's are these dark chocolate drizzled plantain chips sprinkled with sea salt. Ooh, that sounds good. All right, here's a quick overview of everything else that I got. Let's see, over here we have some naan. You guys know I eat naan like every other day. It's my favorite. These only come around a couple times a year, so I had to snag them when I saw them. The banana bread English muffins. 
if you know you know I'm probably gonna have a couple and then freeze them some flour tortillas because I can't stop doing the TikTok um, tortilla hack it's addicting once you start you can't stop so I got more of those um, some ground beef I got the 85% lean I don't know I just got whichever one was organic not that I normally always buy organic stuff but the non organic one just looks kind of weird um, I got some thinly sliced chicken which I don't normally get chicken but I kind of felt like it this week so we'll see if I use that up hopefully I do I got some baby arugula you guys know I've been obsessed with arugula recently I'm gonna make a soup this week for a what I eat in a day so fire roasted diced tomatoes and then a tomato paste my new favorite hummus, balsamic caramelized onion hummus, is amazing. Some banana peppers, Monterey Jack cheese, salsa, tomato, bell peppers. Still on my tomato basil soup binge, so I got tomato soup. Chicken broth, mustard, this is sriracha mayo. I haven't had it in a while, so I'm excited about that. Um, I need lemon juice, but I could only find this little one. I need like the actual big container of it, but this will do for now. I was in a rush because of the snow, so I was like, I don't have time to like actually look for it. Um, I got some cherry tomatoes and then feta and mozzarella, my two uh, current favorite cheeses. But that's everything that I got officially from the grocery store. Also, I got this at Home Goods today because I want to take my soups to the next level and I need more space to make like a good quality soup. So I am a 50 year old woman. to like show it on camera but the snow is coming down so fast it went from like zero to a hundred literally and it is only just starting I just finished eating some buffalo chicken dip so <laughs> my makeup is like all messed up but it's a while later I'm about to make dinner and I'm actually making something that I saw on TikTok that got really popular and I am so excited but I wanted to make like a little talk out of this for a second because something I feel like I showcase a lot on this channel is healthy recipes right like super healthy not super healthy but just like healthier recipes you know kind of like cheats to be healthier like and still eat good but today's recipe has a lot of cheese in it so I wanted to make a little disclaimer um although I always show like really healthy recipes on this channel I eat unhealthy ish things sometimes too actually like a lot of times like throughout the week it's not like I eat like super clean every single day and I'm still losing weight I recently lost almost 20 pounds and I've just been eating intuitively and kind of like whatever I want when I want it but like all in moderation so I don't want this channel to like you guys to think that you have to eat super clean all the time or that I eat super clean all the time honestly I just eat whatever I want when I want it as long as it's balanced and in moderation i think that's like the most important thing to adapt to when you're trying to have a healthy lifestyle is knowing your limits i guess like i recently started doing takeout just on the weekends and it's been so nice because during the week i know like you're not gonna order doordash molly like once friday and saturday comes you can do whatever you want but during the week you gotta stick to eating <laughs> what is in your fridge like no ifs ands or buts about it and that's been helping me stick to a really nice schedule as well. Yeah, I just wanted to get that out there that like you don't need to eat a salad every single night of the week in order to lose weight or in order to achieve your fitness goals, whatever they are. You can have whatever you want to eat in moderation. So with that being said, I saw this recipe on TikTok and I've seen so many people make it since then. It's like this tomato feta pasta. That's why I got that big block of feta today. And you guys know I've been obsessed with feta cheese and tomato soup recently. So... I'm excited. Basically, you have to like bake feta. I'll show you the TikTok right now. 
and then we'll get started. All right, I just searched baked feta, but this isn't the original one that I watched, but this is informative, so let's give it a go. Here's how to make it. Add tomatoes, olive oil, salt, and pepper to a baking dish, then add a block of feta cheese right in the middle. Bake it 400 for 35 minutes. When it comes out, add some fresh garlic, fresh basil, and give it all a good mix. Then add some of that cooked pasta right on top and give everything a good mix once again. And then it's time for the taste test. So good. Because of this recipe, the grocery stores so that's what we're gonna be making and I'm so excited. So the beauty of this recipe is you really don't need many ingredients. I have the cherry tomatoes, the block of feta, and then I'm gonna use this protein pasta. I just like the taste of it better. Not really like using it for the protein. I mean, it's just like an added bonus, but this pasta in general is just really good. You're my best friend. Didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends I'll be in fools, drift in the deep space So brave and so stupid, just like the movies How it's gonna stay in the fight with you Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it Each and every high, every night with you You and me so clueless That was easy enough. I added salt, pepper, olive oil, and then I did a little bit of the red pepper flakes because y'all know me, I gotta, I gotta always add them. Um, yeah, this was really easy. So my oven is preheated. I'm gonna leave it in the oven at 400 degrees for 35 minutes. This is literally the easiest recipe ever. So hopefully it tastes good. The only thing I don't have is basil, which is unfortunate, but hopefully it will still taste delicious. You guys hear the fan on my oven or on my microwave? It just won't stop. It turned on by itself. It's never done that before and now it won't turn off. I don't know how to turn it off, so I'm sorry. It is so loud. I'm about to sit down at my dining table though and have my pasta. I already tried it and it tastes so good. The only thing I would do differently if I had the resources would be to add double the cherry tomatoes that I did because I feel like it needs more tomatoes. I don't know, I love cherry tomatoes, so the more the merrier for me, but that's the only thing I would do differently. And then also I added half a cup of pasta water to the cheese and tomato mixture just because I felt like if I didn't, it would have been a little bit too dry, but so excited to eat this. I already tried some of it and it tastes amazing. Let me know if you guys make this at home. It's so easy, literally three ingredients. Well, if you include the olive oil, like four, but that's something everyone mostly has in their kitchen. So really easy dinner and it tastes amazing. So yummy. Also, if you guys are interested in seeing all the home decor updates, definitely check out my other channel because I share all of this over there. Hello, so I'm currently in my office finishing up editing this video and I realized I didn't film an outro and my camera is in the other room and I really don't feel like going through that whole process. I have so much schoolwork to do that I need to be doing right now so I need to get on that. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Nice little 
um, healthy grocery haul just showing you guys kind of like a lot of the staples that I get don't forget to check out Built Bar shout out to them for sponsoring this video I love them even if I wasn't sponsored I would say that they are like the best protein bar ever <laughs> they're delicious I'll have that link down below and the tomato feta pasta was so good but if you don't like feta don't make it because it's very feta-y <laughs> is the way I would describe it um, but it was really good because I love feta so I loved it, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you with another video very soon. The next one that you guys are going to see is a what I eat in a day later on this week, so look forward to that. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter. I don't really know where to look when I'm filming with the webcam, but anyways, goodbye. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys in my next video very soon.